Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics School channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download data from the TC database using Python. So make sure you have Python installed. That's the only requirement for this tutorial. After that, visit this page. All right, this is the TCG data portal. All right, so I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, click on repository. So click it and you'll be sent to this page. Okay, now we will come back to this page. Let's download the Python script we'll use for this exercise. So you can find it on one of my GitHub reports. There's a page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So download the script tcga underscore download underscore uuid.py. So download it. So to download, click it and you will send to this page. And when we're here, click on this download button. So click it and you'll be asked to save it. So I'll save mine now. So I have saved mine. You can also click on raw. So when you click on raw, you'll be sent to this page and you can right click and go to save pages and then save it. That will also save it for you. Okay, so any of these approaches should work fine for you. All right, now let's visit the folder which has a script. This is mine. So I'm going to open it. Okay, I'll use either, but I can use any Python environment to open it. So the script is very simple and straightforward. You import these two libraries, which comes package with Python. And then you also need to specify the file. So this is what we will get. All right, so don't worry about this one. We will get it from the database. And then we have all this information, which once we supply the file ID and then run the scripts, all this information will be used to process and then give you the data. All right. So basically, the script will do all the heavy lifting by running these codes. Okay. And then combining the information together and then downloading the file. Okay. That is associated with the file ID and then placing it or saving it on your PC. All right. So that's what we are going to do. Okay. So let's do this. Let's get back to the TCG database. I want us to download a file. So we will get a file ID and then use it here. So let's get back to the TCG page. This is this, this is the page. All right. So here I want us to download a gene expression data. So I will use this opportunity to also explain to you the search strategy you can use. So on the left side here, all right. On this side, by the way, I will leave the link to this page also in the discussion box in case you don't find it. So I'll come to this side, this left side here, and I'm going to first check the data category. I will select transcriptome profile, which is this one. If you don't see it, come to this side here. You see this, it says six more. You can click it and you have the rest of the category shown. So select transcriptome profiling. So I will check mine. And then I'll scroll down to data types. Okay, data type. So here I'll select gene expression quantification. So I'll click it. And then experimental strategy, I'll select RNA seq. I'll check it. And then I'll also check the workflow type. I'll use star counts. And then TSV, that's the file format or data format. So I'll check it. And then access, I'll check on open. I want publicly available data. And then once you are done, come to the right side, you'll find the hits. So I want us to use one of them, any of them. Okay, let's use the first one, but you can use any other one, that's also fine. Okay, so you click the first one, that's what I click. I'll go back, I'll click the first one, is it? I'll click it and then. I'll have this come now. So this gives us extra information about the data we selected or highlighted or clicked. So I need the file ID, which is this one here, UUID. This is it. So this is, I'll copy it. And then I'll move back to my Python scripts. So I'll put my double quotes and I'll paste it. Let me just do it again. I'll just copy and paste again. Let me do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people may be beginners, so I have to repeat some steps. Okay. So 
double quotes i think i'll still go over again so double quotes and then paste the id and then another double quotes because we want a string data type okay this is it so once we are done that's it you don't need to do any other thing okay so the file id will be combined with the generic uh, link okay and then that will give us the download link for the file and then the other processing will be done and then finally the file will be saved for us or let me say the data will be saved for us okay so once we are done with this you can run it now with the runner you can even run it on the command line that's fine the most important thing is to save the changes and then run okay you can save it and then you run okay so i'll run mine here so i'll say run i'll click it and i'll go to run model but if you are using other python environments don't worry the most important thing is to make sure you have all this information supplied and then you can run all the codes at once okay so that is so i'll run mine now so i'll just click on run model and i'll run it so this will fetch the data and then save it on my pc okay so let's do this the data size is also here 4.24 mb and then let's look at the script all right because the script is here in this directory and i didn't specify any other parts the data will be downloaded to my screen into this directory okay so if you take a look at this one the data has been downloaded all right and that is what you see here this is it so this is the gene expression data okay so it's a tsv format which you can also compress further but there is it so i'll open with a spreadsheet software just for us to see what it is in case you don't know okay so this is it okay so i have the gen the gens here and then i also have the assembles and i also have additional information okay that's the counts okay so uh, you have to decide the information you want that one i'll leave it up to you and then you can just process that of course if it's a gene expression data this is star count that means read count so if you have lots of samples you can do your normalization you can also identify differential express genes which i've covered in other tutorials all right so that's it you can also do some machine learning stuff i've covered some tutorials on that where i should have to use gene expression data for predicting cancer the link to that video is in the description box as well as the gene expression analysis okay so let's do this so here what, what we did was to download just a single file okay that's for one sample okay so let's do this let's go back to the script if you have multiple files okay then what you have to do is to put them in a list and then do an iteration so you have to create a loop and then do that and run the python code and then get the ids one by one and then download okay you can also download the manifest file which has all the uids all the uuids let me just correct myself all the uuids and then you can use some additional scripts to uh, do that but that's something that i've covered in my patreon channel so if you want to learn how to download multiple files i will leave that to you just visit the patreon page you'll find the link to that video alternatively if you also want a one-on-one -on -one tutorial one-on-one -on -one session to learn how to download multiple files you can also contact me and then we can work something out okay so that'll be all for this tutorial and i will see you in the next session